Mm. Brilliant, I guess welcome to Adelaide, mate. How's it feel to be here in Port Adelaide Colours? Yeah, very excited. I, I very much like the uh, all black on me. Uh, yeah, definitely excited. I got the kit today from Phil, so um, yeah, very keen. I'm very excited. I flew in this morning at 11.30 um, and uh, Paulie picked me up and went for lunch and yeah, saw, saw a little bit of Adelaide, but yeah, uh, can't wait to see a bit more of it. How did it all come about? Tell us how it all came about to this point right now. Oh, it goes back a, a fair way. Um, obviously, juniors up to... East Frio, Waffle level, and then obviously going to Essendon and getting uh, knocked back from there and a few knockbacks over the years. And then, yeah, finally getting a crack um, at league level, at Waffle level, and yeah, being noticed by a few clubs. And yeah, finally got the opportunity to, to be at Port. And yeah, what a great club to, to be picked up by. What's well, been the difference, I guess, from you know getting knocked back by Essendon to you yeah. know, getting to a situation where you get picked up by Port? So it's the Essendon from to yeah, Essendon. Well, yeah, well, yeah. What's been the difference? Um, so obviously Essendon gave me the um, like the the feedback to obviously live in the gym and put on more size. So I've, I've put on six kilos since uh, last preseason. Um, so that's definitely helped me um, in my journey, and yeah, just definitely helped me like my like help my game in contesting and stuff like that. Yeah. Was it a surprise that Paul took you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of talk about <laughs> if you would go, you would go to. One club, I mean, yeah, yeah, did they show a lot of interest? Was it yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So Port was definitely the most keenest. Um, I spoke to them three, three or four times over two, two weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, there's obviously no guarantee. So I was nervous, yeah. very nervous. I'm um, going to the draft, just watching it with my manager. Yeah. Obviously spoke to Hawks and, and Magpies as well. Um, but yeah, that didn't go through. And yeah, when they called out Brian, I was like, oh, who's Brian? And then um, finally saw, saw Tico and yeah, jumped over the moon. So yeah, very excited. What was the emotion like when you you know you finally realised that was your name <laughs> and you were coming to Port Adelaide? Yeah, uh, yeah, super keen. Eh? Like, um, from all the interest that Port Adelaide were giving me, I was very keen to get over there, and, and that was a team that I would I'd wanted to go to. Um, but yeah, I was very so happy, and everyone was calling. My phone was going off, and for coaches, um, everyone, and um, heads uh, top uh, hats off to the boys that um. Uh, meshing me all, like every, everyone at the club meshing me and it was absolutely fantastic, so great culture here and yeah, can't wait to meet everyone, I've met a few boys already, um, but yeah, they, everyone's been really nice and helped me get over here, a smooth transition. Did getting knocked back to Messi give you motivation obviously to get in the gym, get bigger yeah. and then try and fulfil your dream? Yeah definitely and it's not, not just Essen, like obviously got the kickback from East Fro when I first started and then kickback from Essen and state teams like that, I obviously didn't make the state team, um, that's just been in um, WA against South Australia, um, but yeah definitely every, stuff like that just fuels fuel to the fire, so yeah. Get kicked down, you get back up, really. So yeah. How would you profile yourself as a player? What are you all about? Um, on field. Yeah. yeah um, I just to compete in the air. I think I use my athleticism to my advantage. Um, so just crashing packs, and then obviously that athleticism side of things. So obviously got a pretty good, pretty good kick for a big man, I think. And um, yeah, just stuff like that. You feel like you can contribute um, pretty quickly if called upon. I mean, you never know with rucks, you know, what they do, there's always an opportunity. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's what um, Kenny Hink said. Um, he said um, there's a good good opportunity for you if you, if you do the work early and um, yeah, come with the right attitude and yeah, I'm putting my best foot forward and I'm going to work my bum off um, as soon as I get to training tomorrow morning, yeah. How hopeful are you to play this season? Like, when would you, like, obviously you want to play as soon as you can. Yeah. How hopeful are you to, to actually make it? Yeah, um, definitely pretty high hopes. Um, Scotty Lass is obviously out for five, six weeks, so I think there's a good good window there for me to showcase what I can do at training and then hopefully get the opportunity to play. So, yeah, I think I think there's a good opportunity there for me. What's the club told you? What have they sort of, like you mentioned Kenny then, what, what have they sort of told you? Oh, not, not too much, to be honest. Like, obviously, just there's, like, a good opportunity if I, if I put the work in early and, yeah. So there's always an option if you, if you have the right attitude towards things. So, yeah, I think that's a good opportunity for me. What's your key forward craft like? I know you don't want to import they want, you know, they're to be able to go yeah. forward as yeah. well. Yeah, definitely. That's something I've been, I've been working on the last um, probably six months um, to a year. Um, East Ferro played me a lot in the forward. Um, obviously, been the second, third ruck there for a while. So, obviously, developed my forward craft for a while. But as a junior, I played, I played um, forward um, most of my juniors. So, yeah, got that experience up there from the early age. But yeah, very natural. I think I'm a very natural goal kicker. So yeah, as a little another string to my bow. Any celebrations after you kick it after you <laughs> No, nah, I think the celebrations will change um, depending on the moment. But yeah, we'll see. Was there any? I believe there's a derby back in uh, WA at the moment this yeah. weekend. Yeah. Before having the buy this week, was there any hope that you might be able to play that game? No, nah, there wasn't. There wasn't any hope. I don't think. I'm um, obviously getting over and settled in, in South Australia was probably the main priority for me. Um, but. Yeah, definitely everyone knows for everyone me to stay and, and play, but yeah, um, realistically, probably just more important is to get over here and settle. Um, but yeah, I haven't played in a derby in a derby before, so um, it would have been a big opportunity, but yeah, 
obviously you've got this opportunity, which is much more important. Where the areas do you feel like you've grown on the, as a player in 2022? You spoke yeah. about, you know, you put on size, yeah. but I mean, to go from, yeah, I guess now to be drafted, yeah, where, where yeah. have you grown? Uh, definitely my like um, intensity um, in contests and stuff, so my competitiveness. Um, I hate losing, so that's probably <laughs> my thing for me. And just my confidence has just skyrocketed like, since putting on size. Obviously that helps a lot um, in contests and stuff, but lots of older players at age 3-0 um, have helped me obviously put, them, put me under their wing and supported me to get me to this, where I am now, to this moment, yeah. Northampton, what, what do you have to say with well, a small farming <laughs> town, 500 yeah. kilometres north of Perth, yeah. that produces some big stars? Yeah, I was, I'm number 10 now, number 10 in the AFL, so um, they actually added me to the group chat on WhatsApp the other day, it was that funny, so Scott, um, sorry, Lockett, um, Josh, yeah, Paddy Cripps, so congratulations, um, Josh Kennedy, who's going to be over here playing Adelaide. Um, yeah, all those, oh, Paul Hazley as well, who interviewed me on his radio station, but yeah, huge, huge name, so yeah, can't, can't wait to be a part of that club, hopefully, and get a statue up in Northampton if I have a good career. Yeah, I believe that they have statues <laughs> the yeah, like yeah. I, I'm not sure if there's going to be a, a big enough big enough space for me, um, mine's probably going to be a bit bigger than theirs, but um, yeah, that's up at the top pub there, um, that's where they're all lined up, which is pretty cool, um, so yeah, it'd be awesome to have, have mine up there. It's, it's a town of like 800 in the population, <laughs> I mean, why does it produce so many AFL, you know, players. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's a funny one. I actually, I've no idea. I don't know what it is. It must, must be in the water up there or something. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not no idea. It's just a tough one because yeah. produces a lot of talent for such a small population, eh? Yeah. And I guess what's the schedule look like now? You've got your feet on the ground here in Adelaide. Yeah. What's the next week look like? The two weeks look like for you? Um. So obviously, we um, play Thursday. Um. So tomorrow is our main session, I think. So we're doing a lots of match sim. So, but tonight we have a um, club function. So I'll have have dinner, meeting the boys and coaches, and then I think a little bit of gym this Savo as well. So yeah, very keen to get started. Anyone you're really excited about meeting, getting to know? Everyone, everyone, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess you'll be putting your hand up, if not for the AFL team, but definitely for the Sanford team and the Magpies yeah. team yeah. as soon as possible. You know, yeah. what's your feelings heading you towards playing you know, straight away? Yeah, definitely excited to um, obviously meet um, more boys in the Sanford. Um, but yeah, I just want to play footy, to be honest, and I don't really care what level I do as long as I'm improving and developing my game. Yeah, but yeah, definitely keen.